Hello, hello, it's been a while. I'm sorry, I haven't made a video for a very long time, but uh, I have been drawing a lot of comics. My name is James Smart. I draw comics. I draw comics like Bunny vs. Monkey, Lushkin, Megalomaniacs, uh, other things I can't remember at the moment. But in particular today, I wanted to talk about Bunny vs. Monkey, because so far we have done five books of Bunny vs. Monkey, and they're all brilliant. If you don't know Bunny vs. Monkey, it's about a monkey who crash lands in the woods uh, and Bunny and his friends aren't too happy about it and there are all these mad inventions and farting and trousers full of custard and, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's Bunny vs. Monkey, all five volumes out now in all good bookshops. But also, we have a new book out, which is out today, called Bunny vs. Monkey, Machine Mayhem. This is book six in the series, and it's a hardcover, and it's not just a hardcover. It has this swanky holographic stuff on it. I don't want to ruin the story, but a new robot enters the woods and everything goes very robotic uh, and it all goes a bit mad at the end. One thing I nearly forgot to mention, I signed a lot of Bunny vs Monkey books. I went up and I signed about 3,000 copies of these. 3,000! This is what 3,000 looks like. And this is me signing them. So yeah, so there are signed copies around, keep an eye out. Some bookstores will have signed copies, some bookstores will have different editions. Uh, keep a look out. So I thought I'd do a very quick drawing today of Robot Monkey, who is there, who is a monkey, who is a robot. But also, stay after the drawing because there's more news as well. You may or may not know that I also write novels, highly illustrated novels, called Flember. Uh, we have done three so far, Flember. And also today, we have a new Flember book out, Flember Book 4, The Power of the Wildening. Flember's the story of a boy inventor named Dev who discovers a secret to life itself uh, and then puts it all into this robot bear called Boja and Boja is a big lovable idiot and they have all these adventures across this mad island very mysterious dark island full of very scary characters and there's lots of fart jokes and burp jokes of course but also there's epic adventure uh, and things going wrong and then things going right just in time highly illustrated throughout here's Boja having a bit of a moment and it's very very funny so that's two books out on the same day I know it's excessive but I've been working really hard so also afterwards, I am going to draw a quick Boja, a very quick Boja, uh, just to show you how to draw him. So that's it. Those are my drawings that I'm going to do today. I'm going to do two drawings, two drawings in one video to make up for lost time. I'm very sorry I haven't been here for a while, but it's very nice to see you. Right. Hello again. Uh, as I mentioned, Bunny vs. Monkey Book 6 is out at the moment. This is Bunny vs. Monkey Book 6. It is very shiny. It is called Machine Mayhem. It is about a monkey being a robot. Shall I show you the back? The back is good. Look, monkey turns into a robot. But it's not just about monkey turning into a robot. It's about a lot of other things as well. Uh, let me show you what's inside. Ooh, nice covers. Uh, so yeah, so this is Eve. Metal Eve is the little robot who causes so much trouble. I don't want to show you the ending, but there's a lot of stuff that happens. Uh, and it gets very, very cool, and there's lots of robots and stuff going on. So today we're going to draw Metal Monkey. This is where Monkey turns himself into a robot. Uh, as you can see, it does just look like Monkey, just with a few little bits to make him look robotic. So we're going to have a go at that and see what we come up with. Uh, normally when I draw, I would draw a uh, quite a detailed picture in pencil first, and then I would go over it in ink. But this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw very, very basic shapes in pencil, uh, and then fill in the details when I come to ink, uh, which can be a bit risky, but I've been doing it a bit more recently because I'm getting lazier. Uh, so there, I've drawn monkey's head, very simple circle. Um, as you might know if you follow my drawing videos, I often draw a cross in the middle of the head uh, to show where they're looking. So here I can work out like where I'm going to put the eyes, I'm going to put the nose in the middle and the mouth around there. So it helps, it just helps you work out where all the features of the face will go. Um, let's draw a monkey's body. Like that. Again, just a very simple lump shape. Uh, as you might have noticed, I kind of have in my mind what I'm going to be drawing here. I'm going to be drawing a metal monkey accidentally plugging himself into the wall and getting electrocuted, which I think will be funny. So I, I've kind of worked out which way his body's going to be facing and things like that. So he's going to have little feet here. Uh, and so I think I can go to inks now. Someone uh, in the comments asked what, how I ink things. I tend to ink with brush and ink, which can get a bit messy and takes a while to, to learn how to do. But if I'm doing a video like this, uh, I will use a brush pen, such as the Kuratake. 
these are very, very cool pens. It basically works like a paintbrush, but it's a lot neater and it's a pen. Um, I don't know why I don't use them more often, but they are very, very good. So I'm going to do that here. Um, so let's get started. So I will, on Monkey's Head, draw his mohawk. Just like very weird square shapes. I will draw his ear. So as you can see, I'm just working around the basic circle of his head. Let's start filling some of that in now. So there, I've kind of inked the very top of Monkey's head. Let's put his eyes in, just so we can work out where everything goes. Monkey's eyes are straight vertical lines, but they curve slightly, depending on which way he's looking. Um, he would also have eyebrows up here. Actually, I think he's got bigger eyebrows than this as Metal Monkey, but that's fine. We can work with this. Uh, got a nose, obviously. Uh, his mouth would be kind of huge. Monkey's mouth has been getting bigger and bigger as I draw him over the years. And I'm putting some teeth in here. Bring the rest of his head round, draw another ear on the other side, but put it in shadow. Just gives a bit of depth. Uh, and then draw the bottom of his head. So there you go, he's got a huge set of teeth gnashing together. Uh, because he's Metal Monkey, he has kind of these rivets down the middle of his head. I'm basically drawing Monkey and just adding a couple of lines to him. But shh, we'll carry on. Because um, he's being electrocuted, you can kind of stretch out his limbs, you can exaggerate things a bit more, so I wouldn't normally draw his arms like this. But I think you can have fun with it when they're doing something quite extreme. Like that. Uh, his body. Uh, so that's one foot, two foot. What you can do, which I've been doing more, is draw lots of little circles around. And then it looks like his feet are kind of uh, running around on the spot. Like he's gone a bit crazy. It just helps to add to the tension a little bit. So I've finished... Doing his body here, um, again, I will add some rivets, just to make him look metal, as metal as possible. So Monkey normally has a tail, but here, let's, for the sake of the gag, just turn it into a, a wire or a cable with a plug at the end. plugged into his bottom, obviously. So there we have a cable. Um, he would be off the ground, I think, because he'd be so shocked by this. Um, and then obviously, because he's being electrocuted, we want to add some effects. So uh, let's just add this. He looks like he's quite enjoying it, but I think it's pretty dangerous. So I can't imagine it's very good for him. Just some shocks and then some little bits coming off. Do not do this at home. Monkey is a trained idiot and he has hurt himself endlessly doing these sort of things. Uh, maybe let's just add a little panic either side of his eyes. Uh, and then we have Monkey electrocuting himself. We could draw a sound effect as well. Sound effects are always cool. You can literally write anything as a sound effect. Sometimes I just write words that I think are funny. But here I'm going to go bzzz, uh, maybe a little line just to show it's coming from there. Um, and then I should sign it, of course, because we should always sign our work. And there you have it. A metal monkey being electrocuted, which is basically just monkey. And then we add some bits to it. Metal Monkey being electrocuted. There you go. I uh, hope you have a go yourself. Thank you. Bye.
So that was Monkey as a Robot. Uh, as you can see, quite easy, very basic shapes. Uh, so let's go on and do another one. As I mentioned, Flemba is also out. And I'm really proud of these books because I don't normally do writing. As you know, I do comics. Writing is a very different discipline uh, and I found it quite tricky at times, but it's full of pictures too to keep me to keep me focused. And I think they're really, really cool stories. Um, so I am going to show you today how to draw Bojo, who is that bear. He's not normally that angry. Look, he's angry on the back as well. He's not normally that angry. Uh, but stuff in the story happens that makes him very hungry. So yeah, let's draw Boja, and I will see you again soon, hopefully. Bye! Bye-bye! Hello again. Uh, no introductions needed. As I mentioned, Flember Book 4 is out. Um, it's very, very good. It's what it's number four in the series. Uh, there is one more still to come out after this, maybe next year, maybe the year after. Um, but it's a highly illustrated novel with lots of uh, weird and wonderful characters. Uh, and it's full of pictures and words and things happening. Um, and we are going to today draw Boja. Let me find quite a nice picture of Boja. Um, there's Boja jumping in some flowers. Um, there's Boja with leaves stuffed in his ears. So yeah, basically Boja is kind of like a big bear, big bulgy eyes, um, and a kind of a goofy expression. So again, I'm gonna do a very, very basic shape. Let's just do that. So I don't know what this shape's called. It probably does have a name. To me, it looks a bit like a jelly bean, but a bit straightened off in places, but it's kind of like a, like a rectangle with curves in all the right places um, and then let's add a big ear here and an ear here so this one I am going to pencil in the details because you might not know what Bojo looks like so these are two big eyes two big bulgy eyes and two ears either side and then a nose uh, and then do his arms down here. Now Boja has a huge appetite. He can't stop eating. So I'm going to draw him eating a cupcake. Like that. Okay, so I think I've done enough details now. I can just go straight to ink. So let's go over this bit. That's one of his ears. As you can see on the line, I just had a little tuft. Let's draw his back. So his back is like a curved line. Big bulgy eye, number one. Like that. Uh, he also has eyebrows, similar to monkey. They kind of float in the air. This is his nose. Big red, sh uh, sorry, big black shiny nose. Bulgy is red, his nose is black. On the top of his head, he has a little tuft of hair, permanent tuft of hair. Uh, and there is his other bulgy eyes. We can put it in the mouth now. So we should show that he's been chomping it. So we'll have like his cheek bulging. Uh, and I do like drawing Bojo with kind of his teeth poking out like that, as if he's chewing his bottom lip. And then another ear here. Let's do his arm down here. Because his body's so big, this bit of his body is so big, you can kind of do what you want. You can put his arms where you want and you can cheat it a little bit. So that's the front of him. So we will draw the cupcake with a bite taken out of it. Let's do the cherry on the top. Let's draw a little few currants and things like that in the cupcake. So that is his arm, that's his fingers poking up. Let's do him sitting down, because you want to sit down if you're eating a cupcake. So that's one of his legs. That's another leg. Often I draw him with a tail, I think he's got a tail. I mean I've drawn maybe 800 pictures of Boja now, I'm pretty sure he's got a tail. It doesn't always appear though. 
Uh, and then let's just do a bit of grass along here. Um, oh, I've forgotten his other eyebrow. Let's have him enjoying himself. Uh, and again, we will sign it. There you go. So that is a very, very quick drawing of Boja. Boja Bear from the Flember books. Flember book four is out now. So I want to have a go drawing Boja as well. Uh, as you can see, Boja is a very simple shape. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Mm.